Hello people, this is Mike June II, and welcome back to Orcs Must Die 2 Endless Mode. And I know it's been a while, but eh, this is a horrible level, V Crossing. Um, I do have to say, I hate this level. It is horrid, most people do mostly because, if you can't tell, it's a From the Fire and Ice DLC, and it's just one of the worst levels they could have picked to get from here to there, and I just, I hate it, it's, it's horrible. <laughs> For the most part, I mean, I mean, if you like it, that's fine. But holy shit, is this just one level that I do not want to fucking deal with? But anyway, yes, as you can see, it's uh, the crossing. Basically, there's two different areas to get to the rift, and we have to prevent them from getting that far. And in endless mode, that's kind of a pain in the ass. But basically, most of our strat, at least from what I remember, because if you can't tell, it's been a while, was I definitely put these that have extended range. I guess I should talk about everything. Um. Stone uh, does more damage to stone enemies. Uh, stun. I uh, actually forgot what this one was. Damn it. Um, eh, whatever. I don't care. Um, from the looks of it, this one's yeah, this one's longer. Uh, archers with I believe fire arrows. If you don't do the fire arrows, then that's the other thing. Um, longer reach. Uh, stun and stun. So we got three stunning things here, and we're gonna fucking need them. We also got the um, scavenger trinket and the guardian trinket. Because, as I've said, these are these are very useful things to have. Um, well, basically for this level, it is extremely useful because you're going to need all the fucking money you can get. So, uh, first, I think I'm going to set up some stuff up here. Along with Tar. Basically, we're going to be having Tar for most of it. And then I'm going to be putting down um, these here. I'll probably do it every two, like that. And we could probably keep that for now, hopefully. Um, I think I also want to get some archers down, but I think I need to get them down there first. Because up there, it's not going to be that hard to kill some of the enemies, but down here is going to be the tough one. Because basically what I'm going to have to do is do two tar and then uh, two scorchers. But let's try seeing if we can get this over with. Now, if you don't remember, this thing's homing, so keep that in mind. And you know what? I don't like the volume. I'm turning it down. I don't know how it works for you guys, but the volume seems a little bit too loud, so let's work with that. Okay, so they're starting up there first. And yes, I do have myself the script run for the, um, this thing, and we need it, so. Also, this thing's useful because it knocks enemies off, and that's just absolutely great. And, boom. Stupid trap got in my way. Okay then, so it's been a while since I've played some Orcs Must Die 2, I will admit. Uh, people do not know this, but there has been an update to Orcs Must Die 2 where they do allow mods. Now, the mods when run do not obviously keep your score or anything, so that should be kept in mind. But uh, other than some simple stuff, it's really, um... It, I, I don't like it that much. Don't get me wrong, I think it's great. I, I do think it's really cool that they are adding this at the very least, but for the most part, the mods could have been a little bit better. Sadly, I mean, obviously, they, they, we weren't going to get in uh, a level editor. It was something that was going to be really cool, that could have been really cool, but it's just an issue the developers have talked about before. It's just they can't do it. If they did it, then, well, you know, they'd have to give away probably uh, programs that they don't even have, or if they made them, they made them themselves, they're not going to give them out for free. And even if they'd make people pay for the level editor, it's just not something a lot of people want to deal with. And I, you know... And I, I agree. The one thing that would have been nice, though, is that we can't actually add anything even to the mod portion of Orcs Must Die 2. Er, the mod portion. We can't add anything. We have to change um, already made uh, traps. So we have to make... So we can't make a new trap, basically. We have to... If we do want to make a new trap, we basically have to do an already... Um, use an already existing trap. So, it's just... It's not something I want to do with. Now, if you are a sorceress and you have the special ability, um, you can do the um, the feather fall to get down here, which is after you beat the game at least once. Oop, they're coming through. Fuck you. Nope, gotcha. All right, let's get some archers up here. Now, I think these archers are just regenerating, which is fine. Probably should have put more down there, but now eh, whatever. Let's try to... Yeah, I mean, if we deck this thing out, it'll be a lot harder for um, some of the guys to get through, so... 
Nope. Not getting me, you fucking assholes. Luckily, it's doing pretty well up there. Now, I'm not going to activate the scavenger trinket just yet. I'm going to wait till we get some more enemies here. Ooh, this looks good. Ah, yes, kobold hunters. Or, the not the kobold hunters, I mean the uh, gnolls. They are going to be probably one of our worst enemies here. The only thing that's really going to be able to take care of them are the zappers, which I probably should place one down. We'll do that there. That should help a lot. <laughs> Yeah, these guys do not have flame arrows, so that should be kept in mind. Uh, really, it's not that big of a deal. It's funny, the elemental damage don't really work as well with you that you would think it would for the elemental, you know, powers. Okay, then. So, um, I really want the scavenger trinket up for a lot of the extra stuff here. Actually, I'll sell that. I'll actually sell both of these, and I'll go down there and put these two down there. I might just place one, because I do want to get some more uh, zappers up, and then I'm going to be getting some... I usually don't use auto ballistas, but this is a thing where I... Because there's just not a lot you can do here, sadly. So I kind of use auto ballistas just because it's a good idea. Alright, so I'm actually going to pause the game. And when my scavenger trinket gets all the way back up, then I will uh, resume it. So, uh, yeah, catch you guys in a second. Okay, we are back, guys. So, uh, yeah, let's get this thing started. I usually don't do this, but the reason why I want to do this is because we need all the money we can get for this level. I'm... I know some people might just, you know, think that it's not that big of a deal, you know, I, I, can, I can pass by it, but this is not a level you want to fuck around with in this case. You want to make sure shit gets done. So. I know some people might think I'm, you know, a little stupid for pausing it, but at the same time, you know, it's just something, and I don't want to make you guys wait for it, so basically pausing it to me is a way better option. Now, the reason why I have taken the Dwarven Rocket Launcher is obviously because, um, and I think I'll use this after these guys die, or at least the next wave gets through, is because the rock and elemental monsters are all weak to explosive damage. So it is a perfect choice for uh, fighting these monsters. If you do not have this DLC, then I would recommend instead getting, sadly you can't get the Guardian Trinket, and I don't recommend using Guardians unless you can have the Guardian Trinket at all. But, um... No money down there, okay. But basically, um, if you don't have the Dwarven Rocket Launcher, you can try, if you're the War Mage, you could try using the, uh, the, the Blunderbuss, but I'm not exactly sure how that would work out, so. Really, don't try taking on, I mean, if you're not that good of a player, you might not even just not try this thing at all, until you get some more DLC, so. It's really not a level I can really, uh, help for a lot of people, goddammit. Gonna have to take off this troll. You know, maybe I should have gotten the fire archers for just the trolls. Because the fire does slow down enemies by a bit. That's important to note. Gotcha. Ah, oh, we got Mr. Moneybags already. Very nice. Well, that's good to know. Oh, hello there, you. Nope. Okay, then this top row's done. Sweet. Trying to be getting down here and getting Mr. Moneybags, you go away. You die in a hole. Alright then. Give me my 1200 coins. Thank y'all. Must have won a box. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully that helps out a bit. And uh, I think I'll place a zapper right here too, just cause. That should help out a lot. Um, we could probably use some more shit down there, because as I've said, that down below there just doesn't get enough stuff done. Because we decided we can't put wall traps down here. Now, we can put one right there, and I will be putting one there in the future, but for now, we're gonna go without. Gotcha. Shit, they're getting to the other side. Fuck me. Nope. See, that rocket launcher helps out a lot more than you think it would. Come on, death to you. Ooh, good, push one of them off. Nice. Aha! Lucky me. Sadly, I just activated this thing, so it's going to be a long wait. But until then, we, I will show myself planning out my strats. Okay, then. So now you're in the mind of Mike Jr. II. Not a nice place to be, but you know what? You're going to have to fucking deal with it for now. So, we're probably going to be putting this here, and probably a few up here, too, just to help deal with the shit. Um, when we get Mountain Trolls in the future, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to put one right there to help get rid of those guys, or anything that's tall enough to pass by that. Um, 
yeah, that might just be it for now, so catch you guys in a second. Okay, people were back. We were close enough to the uh, scavenger trinket working, so I'll just do it now. And it's done. Cool. So, uh, around the second part of the wave, I probably will start, uh, I don't know, I could probably use it now. Just to help get rid of some of these, uh, fuckers. Gatcha, I do love this stun. This stun is gonna be so fucking helpful. For, uh, future things. And let's get some more of this done. Ooh, now there's some fire guys, and I will show right now that this fucking- Oh, come on. Yeah, I forgot, the missile gets in the way. What'd they say came here? Oh. No, I don't remember what he just said. Shit. Those guys are gonna try blowing up your archers. Nope, fuck you. Oh, nice. That got in the way. That's funny. Didn't expect that to happen, but... Ooh, sweet. That was a lot easier than I thought it'd be. Okay, then it might be some time to... No, I think I wanna... No, I think I should just focus on... More of this shit. Why did I put those there? I need more tar. Nah, that's something to fix in the future. At the very least, we do need to put them here, so... I'll sell those in the future and replace them with tar. Thank you, needed that. What? Oh yeah, no. I'm kind of a little bit off with the prices and they're catching up up there. Nope. Fuck off. Yeah, pushing those guys off is actually pretty useful. Hey, I forgot, you could take the wind belt here, but because of the heavies, I usually don't worry about it. The little schmucks, while something you should watch out for, is something I don't care about too much, and one of them evolved down there. Fuck me. Just die. Thank you. Okay, let's get our butt down there real fast. Come on, motherfucker. Bring it on. Nope. Lol. Fuck you. Sell, sell. Boom. Boom. There we go. Nope. No. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck you, game. I'm getting that money now just to fucking fight you fuckers. Come on. Bring it on. You guys ain't got nothing on me. Alp. That hurt. So, hello there, no hunters. Yeah, fuck you. Woohoo! Gotta love the coins. Health, please. Oh, they're getting far up there. Let's hurry up and catch up and deal with these fuckers. Oh yeah, I forgot. the uh, These push traps do push off the Null Hunters, which is very fucking useful. Sadly, they don't push off the bigger guys, and they actually activate around the bigger guys, so... Yeah, I liked it when you could upgrade them to push the bigger guys off, but eh, that kind of made the last game broken in some cases. Alright then, so. Alright then, this bottom row seems to be working out pretty well. Uh, top row needs some work, but for the most part it seems fine too. So let's get this thing started. Now for that kind of setup, I'd recommend the extended, um... Oh wait, no, I didn't say for the scavenger trinket, fuck. Well, that was my fault, whatever. But basically, I'd probably recommend to try and um, do the extended uh, tar. Because tar that slows more is nice, but the one that extends after you leave the tar helps out. Especially if you go from tar on top of here to tar again. It kind of extend. at least to my knowledge, it'd probably extend it for so long that fuck you. Nope. Yeah, he's getting down there. All right, you little fuckers. We're doing well, but, uh... Okay, let's just hurry up and kill you. Thank you. Um, another ability I guess you could try using is the, um... Nope, fuck you. Oh yeah, no, we got the, uh... You again. No, fuck you. Thank you. But, no, another thing you could try doing is, um... You got the wind belt... God, what was I gonna say? I'm stupid. I have no fucking clue what to say. What was I gonna say? Uh, what could you- Oh yeah, you could use the uh, trap reset trinket. If you don't have the guardian trinket, that'd probably be a good replacement. No, damn it. I've been- I've been mixing up a lot. 
Gotta admit, I'm having my issues. Luckily, the, uh, oh, fuck, the poison ones. Uh, luckily, the, um... What are their names again? Hobgoblins can't, uh, not hobgoblins, what the fuck are they called? Oh no, they are hobgoblins, duh. Uh, the hobgoblin mages cannot, uh, bring back these little fuckers back to life, which is very helpful. What, for whatever reason, they can't bring elementals back to life. I don't know why, but it's a good thing they did that, or else the game would be pretty broken, and we need to get our butts up there now. Gotta admit, this thing fucking helps for sure. Boom. Okay, I need to activate this trinket soon. Oh, da, da, da. Thank you. So we got all these push traps up here. That's good. How about another archer? <laughs> that would probably help out a lot. By the way, you still got those up there if you need them. So keep that in mind. Do not forget about them. They need to be loved. And given respect. Ah. Uh, Zappers aren't that big of a deal, actually. Actually, they're probably more helpful than anything. Boom, see? Especially considering the fact that we have elementals here, so... Meaning that their explosive damage is going to help us out more than it's going to hurt us. Though I do have to admit, for whatever reason, I'm not getting as much out of the, um... I don't feel like I'm getting as much out of the, out of the scavenger trinket as some people would. Sadly, I got hit there, too, but what are you going to do? Awesome. Okay, then. I'm going to have to wait. But until then, boom. That's going to be helpful. Um, What do we need up there? Okay, we probably need another set of Scorchers, but until then, I could put that there. Ah, damn it. Scavenger Trinket again. I was gonna stop, but no, I was stupid. Oh, wait, no, this is a no Grenader level. Or no, I don't think they do it this time, because I think they tried being different with the uh, DLCs. But then they were like, fuck it. That's why I see it anyway. Ooh, we already got one of you guys. Little fucking early game, I think. Luckily, I think the only thing good about this, uh, this setup is that you do constant damage for the most part. No, oh, god damn it. Okay, let's kill you as fast as possible. Oh god, of course, the mountain troll has to be a dick. Okay then. Okay, that mountain troll's gonna take his time, so let's get all butts up here. Nope. Nope. That's right. Now remember, if you put it on the reticle, you can uh, home in on the target. So that is something important to note for this, uh, for the rocket launcher here. Boom. <laughs> Maybe that'll help out a bit. I don't know. I get a little bit weird at times just to see what it does with. Yeah, now we got the Null Grenader. See, it's like they wanted to do something different and then they decided it might be better just to stick with the same formula. Just so people can know what to expect. Nope. Scavenger Trinket, bitches. Got him. Sweet. Yeah, try to bring him back to life over there, bitch. Oh god, no, no, no. No, no, no. I command you to stop. Stop, damn you! Now you, I don't think you can make the jump from here to there with the uh, war mage. Ooh, thanks for giving me time to heal up and get my scavenger trinket back, Mr. Orc. You might be kind of a douche, but at the same time, you're kind of helpful. Ooh, I'm scared. Get them, archers. Sick em, boys. Holy shit. Yeah, Fire Lords, hi. Luckily, these guys only disperse into the little guys and not into, um... Bigger versions. Or the... Kind of like how the rock elementals do it. It's... it's Luckily, they don't do that. So, that, that's helpful.
Alright then, you little fuckers, bring it on. Can the zappers be- I think the zappers were down here. Again, they're not that smart with their enemy placement. I don't mean robot entertainment, I just mean the guys who planned this out in terms of, uh... The orcs themselves and shit. It's like, hey, I got an idea, let's stick out the elementals that are weak to explosive damage with the zappers. Wait, what? Alright then, wave 16. This is, seems pretty fast so far, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay then. Because we're getting to the hard stuff. I don't think I have any zappers up here, do I? Nope. Let's rectify that error. Actually, I don't I don't think that placement works that well. Eh, it kind of works, I guess. I don't know, I'll keep it there, why not? But while we're up here, let's get ourselves another archer down. Boom. Now remember, archers can block their own fire, so you have to position them carefully or else they're not going to be that effective. That should be noted. <laughs> I don't know why, but that zap just kind of made me laugh. It was just like, I'm going to get you, zap. Death. It's just kind of funny. Maybe laugh a bit. Shut up. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> Last guy who made fun of me was in a full body cast. Ah, uh, you fuckers. Now, because you don't want to get hit by this thing just for the simple fact that your guardians will, um, survive it, so... Because you have the guardian trinket. So don't worry too much about your... If you do not have the guardian trinket, then I'd recommend not getting... I recommend you taking the hit over your, um, guardians. Though we still get a break, so it's not that big of a deal now, but later on, uh, you can have your guardians take the hit over you. Might even be more recommended. Okay, let's put some more of these up, because i kind of been lazy with these. They are useful, don't get me wrong, but it's just something that you might not be might not be as useful as other items. Ooh, that was funny. It launched him into the air, and then the fucking, um... The archers got him. That was funny. That should be funny, man. Real funny. Mine. Come on, push yourself off. Yep. Get the fuck out of here. Now then, um, pushing them off may not be the best ideal because of the whole fact that they drop 100 coins most of the time. Not all the time, because it's endless, but most of the time they do. However, it's not really something you can deal with. No. Nope, fuck you. Gotcha. No, gotcha. Sweet. Uh, of course, we got the Lord to deal with up there. Oh no, they killed him. Nice. Good job, archers. You kick butt. Sweet. Got some more room for archers, so let's... I don't know. Don't fuck up the rotation, guys. You were doing so well. Nope. See, these guys just go down in a jiffy with this rocket launcher. It's great. I love it. One of the best things in the game. Hands down. Though I do think the stone staff is still more useful overall. The dwarven rocket launcher against these rock guys basically turn them into fucking pussies. Yeah, that's right, bring it on. Nope, mine. Gotcha. Very nice. Okay, you, 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 you. Awesome. Getting ourselves our dough and money. Yeah, up here seems pretty fine for now, so I won't worry about it too much. Yeah, these archers have definitely been helpful, and I think the regenerative energy maybe help out a bit for those who shoot them every once in a while. The dicks. Alright then, so for this case, it might be better to point the auto ballistas this way for these guys. Because it's kind of hard to fit them up there sometimes. Actually, are those things facing the right way? Yes, they are. Okay. You can tell by seeing which way the arrows are pointing. Boom. Oh, did I not wait for the scavenger trinket again? Eh, whatever. It doesn't really matter that much. Uh, 
Oh god, no. No, 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 no. Can't get me. Nope, fuck you, fuck you. Okay, what the hell's coming? Oh god, do we have Rock Lord downstairs? Oh shit. Fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Nope. If you're wondering why I'm switching back and forth, I want to make sure I don't use up all my mana at once. So I think it's best to go back and forth just for that reason. So basically I use this to get my mana back up, and then when I get enough mana, I shoot it. See what I mean? Pretty helpful. And I think, I'm not sure, but I might have lost an archer. Upstairs. 